all out by my gardener. And I'm talking about a artery test called a carotid intima media thickness test or a CIMT. And this video is going to talk about that kind of a test, why you should have it. And then it's also going to show you my results at the end of this video. I'm beginning the very series of uh, videos I said I was going to start making. And so tonight I'm talking about a test called the carotid intima media thickness test. So now um, let's, I don't know enough of those big medical terms, so I'm going to have to do this in plain old country boy talk, something that all of us can understand. So we're going to keep it really simple. The carotid arteries are these big arteries right here in your neck. You got one on each side. And of course, this supplies, you know, the blood to the, your brain. Tells you how important it is to keep these arteries open and flowing properly. Now this test, called the CIMT test, measures the buildup uh, of plaque uh, in these arteries. Now there's two kinds of plaque we want to be concerned about. There's a hard plaque that probably everybody is, is, is pretty knowledgeable of. But there's also another plaque, and that's called a soft or a hot plaque, and sometimes it's called a liquid plaque. And I don't really think uh, most people know as much about that one. I know I didn't. I knew about the hard plaque, thought that was the major problem. Turns out I was totally wrong. It is not the major problem. It's the soft plaque or the hot plaque, the liquid plaque, that is the major problem with heart issues. So that's why this test, this CIMT test, is so important. It will not only measure the hard plaque buildup in your arteries, but it will also show any soft plaque. Now there is a little uh, caveat there. Not every CIMT testing facility will have the uh, skills uh, or the training or the ability to measure the soft plaque in your arteries. So that's why it's important that you get a good facility to do that. And later on in this video, I'm going to tell you about such a facility. Now, here is, in a nutshell, here's what this test does for you. There's a correlation between what's going on in these uh, arteries here in your neck and what's going on in the arteries down here in your heart. You see, if you got a uh, uh, plaque buildup here in these arteries, whether it's soft or uh, hard plaque, then most likely you've got plaque buildup down here in the arteries of your heart. So that's why this test is important. Now this test up here is easy to run on your arteries in your neck. They just put a little thing up there. It's a uh, ultra, uh, uh, ultrasound kind of a thing. And uh, they can look at those arteries. In order to do the same kind of a test in your ar heart arteries, they would have to run a catheter up through your leg all the way up into your heart and you readily understand the risk associated uh, with doing that. So that's not what you want to do. You want to do this test here, but you want to get it done at a facility that truly, truly, truly knows what they're doing. Now, you might ask exactly what is it that puts me at risk for a heart attack? Certainly a good question. And the answer is, it is not the cholesterol in your blood. And it isn't the hard plaque either. Over time, the hard plaque could become a problem. But here's your answer. It's the amount of soft plaque building up in between 
the inner liner and the outer wall of your arteries. Soft plaque buildup in that area between the inner and the outer wall of the artery. You see it's this soft plaque that causes sudden heart attacks and often death. It was explained to me this way and this made the most sense to me. It's uh, My cardiologist told me this. He said the soft plaque is like a pimple in between the inner lining and the outer wall of your artery. Of course, you all, we all know what a pimple looks like. It's usually got that little build up, a little cone shaped kind of a thing. And then you see when that pimple ruptures through the inner lining of your artery, it squirts hot plaque into the blood flow. The hot plaque causes a blood clot to begin forming. And it doesn't take very long for the artery to be completely blocked and now you're having a full-blown heart attack. Now, yes, that event that I just described, at the time I didn't know it, but that event that I just described, I personally have been through. <laughs> and as you can see, I've lived to tell about it. And I'm trying to describe that to you in a way that, that you'll understand what it is and, and understand the extreme, extreme importance of getting a CIMT done so that you know whether or not you've got soft plaque or not. So that's what this is all about. Now let's talk a little bit about the, the value of you doing this test. And think about it this way. Your health is like a glass ball and that glass ball is in your hands. Now it doesn't take much of a genius to know that you don't want to drop the glass ball. So if you have plaque buildup, soft, soft plaque, especially soft plaque buildup or beginning to build up in your arteries for your own better health uh, you must learn about it. I venture to say that most of you do not have the slightest idea uh, if you are beginning to have soft plaque buildup. I didn't. I didn't. So you're not alone if you don't know. And that's why I'm making this video for you. Here's the point. You really want to discover in the early stages that you have soft plaque buildup before you had a heart attack. See, because when you have a heart attack, it's very probable that you're going to sustain some heart muscle damage. And heart muscle damage is almost impossible, certainly very difficult to rebuild or restore. It's not like other muscles in your body. So this is all important because if you do have soft plaque beginning to build up or already a significant amount built up, you can reverse it. It can actually be reversed. Of course, you got to do some things. And we're going to talk about those kinds of things, not in this video, but in another video. Now, does it matter where you get this test? Obviously, I think it does. But I really need to quickly tell you that I don't have any financial or other interest in this company. It's just that I think they're a good company and I think they do a good job. That's where I had my CIMT done. And when I get ready to have a retest, that's where I'm going to go back to again. And they'll do my same C, uh, CIMT. So uh, when I start to, uh, in a moment, I'm going to name them and I'll give you some contact information. 
Uh, there are other companies that do this and maybe even your local doctor can would get it done for you. And the point you got to be careful about is the equipment that they're using and the skill or training that the person uh, does doing the uh, ultrasound or doing the test, uh, the skill and training that they have. Uh, they got to really know what they're doing. Otherwise, they won't detect the soft plaque. They'll find the hard plaque. That's not a problem. Any of them will find the hard plaque for you. It's that soft plaque that you got to watch out for. And that's the one that you got to have a really good, uh, they call them a sonographer. You have a really good technical sonographer to uh, do your test. And then uh, there's some other people that look at their results and they'll give you a report. So you remember, you want to detect the soft plaque as early as you possibly can so that you can start to do something about it. All right, now that I have talked about the importance of uh, doing the CIMT test so that you can detect the, any soft plaque that's building up in your arteries, now it's time for me to give you the contact information of where you can start to get uh, this test accomplished. So I'm also going to put the contact information in the description box below this video. But the company name is Cardio Risk Laboratories. They're located in Utah. And the person that you would be talking to there is named Heidi Elridge. She's a great person. Uh, will help you in every way possible to get this set up for you. She will be uh, setting up your appointment and working with you on the location, times, and all that kind of stuff. Now, her telephone number is 801-855-6775. And you can call her at that number. And I'll put that number in the box below. And her email is Heidi, that's H-E-I-D-I, -E at cardiorisk.us. So this C-A-R-D-I-O-R-I-S-K dot U-S. So that's her email. And I'll put all of that information in the description box below. All right, so that kind of completes this video on CIMT. And in the next video, we'll be talking about another test that I think is very important that you get to help you on your journey to better health. Now let's look at the results of my CIMT test. And the first thing I'll call your attention to is the area circled in red. Notice it gives both my actual age of 79 years old and my arterial age of 68 years old. So 11 years difference, and that's certainly a good reading. The next area to look at is in the early event risk. In other words, that's talking about what's the probability of me having another heart attack. And it says it's colored in green, meaning that it's normal. And this means that for my age and artillery health, I'm in a normal range for having another heart or artery event in the next 5.1 years. Now it is true I do have some plaque buildup, as indicated by the area of plaque burden, but no soft plaque was de detected. Now this is nothing more than a snapshot in time of what my artery condition is. I won't know what's happening until I get the next CIMT done so I can compare the results uh, of the next one with this one to see if I'm getting better, getting worse, or staying the same. Now this is the first video on the various tests that I have ran. And as I do the other videos on the follow-on test, I will come back and I'll list them here on this page so you can kind of see the progress that we're making. 